Hello everybody, this is Tekka, and this is going to be my very first video of 2022. We are going to be quickly looking over an awesome KDE Plasma extension that is going to give you tiling window manager functionality. Previously, we took a look at Cronkite, but this one I believe is a little bit better, better integrated, and you don't have to work around to get to the configuration files and things like that. So this right here is Manjaro Plasma. I already have it enabled. So if I go ahead, open up Dolphin, for example, it's gonna open up with a tiling window look and it's just gonna continue. Let's go ahead and open up a terminal and you can see it automatically tile over there. And let's go ahead and open up a text editor. Let's go ahead and open up Kate. And there we go. And you can see it works just like any normal tiling window manager. And of course there are keys to go ahead and manipulate the windows and things like that. So I could go ahead and switch these windows around, uh, switch the focus windows around, switch the order of them. And then of course I could change the sizing of these windows, holding down windows key control and using the H J K L keys. So if I went ahead and selected the terminal as my focus window, hold down these two keys, I could then go ahead and adjust the size of this window. Really cool functions like any normal tiling window manager, and it's really easy to install. If you're on an Arch-based system, all you really need to do is go ahead and install the package. It is the uh, kwin-bismuth package. And if you're in any other system, I'm gonna go ahead and link to the GitHub. This right here is the GitHub, and of course, you could go ahead and just hit the Windows key and F. And what this is going to do is move any window into the normal floating mode, and you could use uh, Windows key shift and F to move all windows into floating mode and Windows key shift and T to go back into that tiling and there's other layouts as well. Right here you can see the GitHub page as well as some of the functionalities, how to actually install it so you can just do this by source if you'd like to but there are instructions for the other distributions. When you do install it, all you're going to want to do is head over to your settings. So I'm going to go to my KDE Plasma system settings, and this is going to open up in tiling. But like I said, if I do Windows key shift and F, you can see now we are in the floating layout. From here, what I need to do is go to the window management. And right here, after you install it, you're going to have this new option that says window tiling. Here is where you go ahead and enable or disable it. It's going to be disabled by default. All you need to do is go check this box, hit apply, and you're good to go. You do have some general settings such as separating the layouts for each activity or virtual desktop. You have some window settings, including the option for floating windows always on top, which is nice. You could spawn windows in your main focus area or at the end of the layout, depending on the actual layout you have set up. If you go over to window rules, this is nice here. This will separate out applications that you don't want to incorporate with this. And a good example of this would be something like VirtualBox. You don't want your virtual machine to try to tile because then it might screw up your resolutions. So you'd go ahead and enable or add that here. Now, if I go back and go under appearance, this is an absolute must for any tiling window anything with me is outer and inner gaps. Outer gaps for me, five, inner, 10, seems to be just about the sweet spot. And that's really it when it comes to configuration. Now, all of the hotkeys are configurable and uh, easily findable as well. If we go under shortcuts here and head down to Kwin, all of these that start with, with bismuth is or are the shortcuts that you're gonna want to learn or change depending on how you want to interact with your system. So we have move window down, left, right. We have the increased size ones. If we scroll down here, we can toggle the different layouts. So we have the stair layout, three column layout, spread layout, quarter, monocle, floating, and of course the most important, the tiling layout. And there are a lot more different hotkeys and shortcuts that you could go in and customize. So that's really about it. The wonderful KDE Plasma extension here. Real quick video to go ahead and start off the new year. I hope you enjoyed it. So big thank you to our YouTube members and Patreon supporters. You guys are absolutely fantastic. Still working on the new graphics and all that. So the proper credits will be up soon. Be looking forward to that as well as new branding. So watch out. Uh, if you enjoyed this type of video, please subscribe. More really good stuff to come. Uh, we have hardware reviews coming up. We have a lot of different software highlights. So don't miss out because if you don't subscribe, ultimately you are missing out. Uh, like this video if you do. If not, dislike it. Uh, Y'all can't see the counter anyway, unless you want to. And if you do want to see that dislike counter, I have a video on that. Go ahead and uh, check out the uh, link down below. 
Um, yeah, hope you have a happy new year, a good 2022, and I'll see you tomorrow.